What's up guys, Cash back again, and today is officially a good day because we got an official reveal for the next hero coming to Marvel's Avengers, as well as what to expect in the next patch updates, and when the next one is coming on top of those leaks I told you guys we get from Miller now that patch 2.52 is live. And as always, I'll break it all down, so let's jump into it. So news broke around 11 a.m. Central Time that Bucky Barnes, aka the Winter Soldier, is indeed the next hero coming to Marvel's Avengers via Paul Tassie of Forbes magazine. And this news came at a perfect time because so many players were expecting bad news about the game's future based on rumors, but now we know exactly who the next hero is officially, although we've known for several weeks at this point thanks to Miller. But in Paul's article, he shares what he was able to learn from speaking with the game's lead developer Brian Wagner, and one of the first things Brian Brian Scherer was that the game has had incredibly significant growth and a boost to the game's player base since being made available via Xbox Game Pass and PlayStation Plus's recently revamped tiers, and that those subscription plans have been huge for getting the game in front of players. And this is something that I'm glad Brian was able to share, because to this day some players insist that the game is dead or dying, yet it was around this same time last year that the game got a huge surge in new players from the War for Wakanda expansion, as well as the game being added to the Xbox Game Pass catalog. And because Crystal Dynamics doesn't publicly share their active player numbers, Numbers, people use the Steam player count to misrepresent the actual active player base figures to support the dead game narrative. But the game is clearly doing well enough behind the scenes and is being put in a position to perform even better going forward thanks to the first two patch updates from earlier this year. In regards to Bucky, Brian shared that there would be influences from characters like Captain America and Black Widow, saying he trained with Cap, right? So he may share a similar feel, I guess. I don't want to say he has a shield or anything because he doesn't, but his fighting style will feel like that they trained in the same place. And our Winter Soldier also trained in the Red Room, so you may see some things where we took inspiration from Black Widow's kit. But no, not sharing any abilities or anything like that. So for the people in the Bucky will be a Cap slash Widow Echo Camp, they essentially added fuel to your fire and then toss the bucket of water on top because having similar fighting styles or techniques doesn't make a character a clone and with Brian saying he won't share abilities with either hero means his heroics will be completely unique which is great news, but I am interested to see what he has in common with both Cap and Widow, because I personally want him to have a kick similar to Cap's running kick, and I can see them giving Bucky a sweeping leg kick similar to Widow's, or them simply having similar takedown techniques. Switching over to the highly anticipated development update blog, they revealed that the No Rest for the Wicked Warzone will arrive in patch 2.6, which will feature Monica as the main villain, and because she's running out of resources and clones, she's recovered MODOK from the San Francisco Bay in hopes of reviving him to be used as a weapon against the Avengers. Also being included in patch 2.6 will be updates to the full roster of heroes with focus going towards updating combat, balancing, and traversal, and making tweaks and changes to make sure every hero continues to feel like they've leapt from the pages of the comics. These tweaks and changes will be added over the span of several updates, so I'm looking forward to seeing how things progress on that front, but Brian did clarify via Twitter that traversal changes won't come in patch 2.6, but the team is currently evaluating some for a release post patch 2.6. Beyond 2.6, we're getting Ames Cloning Lab and Bucky Barnes in patch 2.7 as I predicted, and since Cloning Lab will require heroes to be level 175, it will reward gear that increases the power level cap beyond 175, and it will also flesh out the remainder of the story between AIM and the Avengers. The story will also be the gateway for Bucky to reunite with Captain America, and he's described as a hybrid brawler and marksman hero. And they tease that beginning in update 2.6 and beyond, they'll be taking the heroes on new and different adventures to encounter fresh threats and reunite with friends and find new allies, which genuinely sounds exciting and has me hyped for what we'll see next year. But because it's been that kind of a day, there's even more news for Avengers because apparently we went from a drought to a flood in the span of a few hours, but Miller has been sharing his findings from today's patch update that brought the new MCU Jane Foster skin to the game, which looks amazing by the way, but Miller shared that we have quite a few new skins on the way with Ultimate Thor, a new Hawkeye skin, and Hulk's Ragnarok Gladiator skin. 
and the team also managed to add in a new Stark tech suit for Kate Bishop in the shipments, and they also touched up one of Captain America's older skins to give him more definition in his physique. So as I told you guys in my video earlier today, the team has definitely been busy behind the scenes, and this is only a small glimpse into the things that they're currently working on to bring to the game, but this all definitely has me more optimistic about the game's future, and patch 2.6 will launch in September, which means we can expect it to arrive at the end of next month, which only leaves room for patch 2.7 to arrive in October or November. So hopefully the team can squeeze in a bit more before the year closes, but I'm really not expecting it at this point. Now I want to hear what you guys think. Are you excited to hear Bucky's officially coming to the game? And how do you feel about Winter Soldier and Cloning Lab being the final content for the year potentially? Let me know down below and make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Marvel's Avengers content every week. And if you're interested in picking up Avengers merch, shout with fandom me in and make sure to use my code in the description to get an additional 10% off. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.